Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Melders channel. My name is Matt. Uh, tonight we're not going to work on the welder, wherever it's at, back here. Uh, we got some scrap we're going to uh, process. What we got is our great big uh, air conditioning unit. Uh, it's kind of like a Mr. Cool, I'm not sure what brand it is. Kind of like a mini split, but not really a mini split. Uh, <clears throat> this one had a heat option uh and air condition so i'm assuming it worked like a heat pump uh i'm gonna have to shut my doors here in a minute because the dog's outside barking uh but it's got two-way coils in it and a compressor uh a fan that we really don't need probably doesn't work probably a lot of trash uh, a lot of shred i go in the shred pile some plastic uh i've never done one of these uh so we're just gonna kind of go screw by screw and bit by bit together so i'm gonna put you up on the tripod and We'll get started. So I'm not sure 100% of all the tools I'm going to need to do, take this apart. So there's probably going to be quite a bit of walking back and forth, but we'll work through it. First thing I'm going to do is take this plastic off. It's like it's just some Phillips screws. I'm sure, there'll be some hidden somewhere, and we'll have to fight that. But we'll figure it out. Getting these tabs out of the way. Oh, there's one down there I'm not gonna be able to get to without taking this out, it doesn't look like. So I'm gonna grab my saws off. We're gonna cut these copper lines over here. I'm gonna move you guys. That way you can see maybe what we're doing. Got some copper lines there that are connected to that uh, compressor. We're gonna cut them and uh, pull this coil off and set it by well, set it to the side. Find which one that's going to it. Looks like it's right there. There's no free on in this. Uh, I got it. I was told there's no free on, so we ain't gotta worry about that. that line set looks like we got this little line set here we'll go ahead and cut that this diablo blade might be a little aggressive for this but that's all i have here i think at the moment I'm going to go ahead and close the door in the shop real quick. I'm going to put the video on pause because the dog's going to start barking. And I don't want that in the video. All right, so we got that line set cut. Now we're going to take this out of here, move it out of the way. I move it to work on it. Looks like there's, it feels like there's some more stuff attached. Looks like this wire here. I'm going to have to get a pair of nippers and then take that screw out. Okay, looks like that's all there is to that fan. We thought there'd been a little more to it. Looks like there's gonna be some wires. I'm gonna grab my wire cutters. That's out of the way. I'm sure somebody could probably use that for something, but uh, we'll take it apart. Mike, see if there's copper or aluminum in there. Probably not tonight, though. All right, so this is done out of the way. It's not done, but we're gonna move it out of the way. We'll come back to it in a minute. Now we're going to 
Move over to the other side. And we're going to work on getting this radiator out of here. Got that out of the way. This is the power cord. I'm sure there's pretty good copper in it. Uh, that looks like it unplugged somehow, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to snip it off if I can find what I did with my wire cutters that I just had. Yep, we got three decent copper wires in there. So we'll we'll end up stripping this. It was a 220. 220 unit. So back to taking screws out. Too, but they're so small, I don't even think I can strip that. Get a pile for trash back there. Maybe that didn't want to come apart. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. If you guys are going to do this, you better have a decent uh, impact driver or drill. There's a ton of screws. I'm trying not to drop them, but I'm dropping them everywhere. Or something to the guys that do e scrap. I'm not one of them guys. Don't know enough about it, don't want to learn about it. This thing's got a million wires inside of it over here. Oh, 
Ziel. Come around here. Find some more screws to take off. I'd ideally like to get this off. I'm sure once a guy did got into a rhythm and did several of these, he could break one down fairly quick. This is my first one. So there's probably somebody out there looking at me like, you don't have to take that apart or you know. You can do it this way or that way. Well, I don't, like I said, first time. Dog does not sound happy out there. here in the side hold that coil in it looks like I'm sure there's some screws over there that I gotta deal with. That looks like I already got it. For the most part. So now I just gotta take my saws all cut a couple lines here. If I figure out where my saws all losing my tools tonight, guys. Losing my tools. All right, I found it. All right, we're gonna cut these lines real quick. Tab in the way it been. Okay, there's that. 
trying to save these screws that way they don't end up in my tires. Still missing something that holds this baby in. Oh, uh, there we go. It's another electric coal wire. Going to though. Here we go. All right, that's cut. Zip tie there. Okay. Yeah, that's what was holding her. Those are pretty small wires too. We might try to strip them. We'll see. Cutting all these so I can get it out of the way. One more. Oh, a couple more. All right, now that's out of the way. Oh, one more line. So that one's out of there. We'll set it off to the side. Now what we got here is this little coil. I don't know if that's copper or what that is because this thing uh, heated as well. So what I think I'm going to do is get my grinder and then just kind of bump it and see what it looks like. All right, I tested it, it's steel. I'm gonna leave it alone, don't need it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna take this blower motor out of here. This is all probably just gonna go in the shred pile. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this um, sealed unit out. It's gonna be fairly straightforward. I'll turn you around here. You can see what kind of what we got going on. It's just gonna be four bolts and then slide it right out. That's, I'm gonna say it's gonna be that simple. Uh, probably won't be, but we'll find out. Nope. Not the right size. There we got it. Ooh, she's metric, guys. Metric. Thirteen millimeter. Who would have thought?
Okay, it's just got three bolts. I said four, but it's just three. units out. Got some more copper line here. It's wrapped around my vise. I don't know how it did that. So there's that. And there's that. The rest of this guys is going in the straight pile. That's all there is to that. Now we got this. What we have is this line set. I don't know if my nippers will cut it. We'll see. We got this solder joint here. What we're doing here, guys, we're going to upgrade copper. If you can upgrade, anytime you can upgrade, just upgrade. I won't nip it, but I can break it off. Let me get a bowl here, something to uh, put it in. I'll put my number two copper in here. Every little bit adds up. Got this insulation junk here. We're gonna take it off. It's kind of ooey, gooey. Okay. So we've got another solder joint here. What you're gonna do, go above the solder joint, cut that off. Number one copper tubing. The difference is about 30 cents a pound. Might as well do it. Right here, below this solder joint. Same thing, break it off. Number two copper. Leaves you with this little bitty piece of copper here. This is tarnished, uh, doesn't matter. It's number one copper, number one copper tubing. But there we number one. Now we're back on this. There's a little bitty piece here. Again, solder joint right there. Break it off. Number two copper. Come down here to this solder joint to go on top of it. Bend it back and forth, it'll snap right off. This little piece is number one copper. Yes, it's worth doing that. Just go ahead and do it. It takes two seconds. You watch me do it. All right, so now we got this long piece. It's cut right there. We'll go down here. Here's the solder joint. Go above the solder joint. You don't need you don't need any, um, solder on here. If they see solder on here, they'll downgrade you. We're about upgrading, not downgrading. So here's the last one. There's no uh, solder joint up here. Still a solder joint there. Go above it. Work it off. Number one copper tubing. So then you have this little piece here. Uh, I'm not gonna fool with this where it goes one to three. This will be all number two. This little piece is number one. I could have put it in my vise and cut it off with the sawzall, but 
I already had this in my hand, so it'll work just fine. Copper's pretty soft. Work it back and forth a little bit. Number two copper, number one copper. Same thing here, it's cut it, no solder joint there. You grab it right above that solder joint, pinch it off, a couple times back and forth, bam, done. Number one. Same thing here, above the copper joint, snip it off, put that in the number two, this is number one. It doesn't take long to add up. If you had a hundred of these to do, which isn't uncommon for some of you guys, that'd make a big, big difference. Snip it there above the solder joint. Go ahead and break that off there. No solder joint up there. Number one copper, number two copper. And this is number one here. We're all about the copper here, boys. Okay, same thing here. Got this insulation junk. Got that off, got a solder joint here. We're just gonna go ahead, take this off the compressor up here. Then we're gonna come right above the solder joint here. There you go, number one copper right there. That's a pretty good chunk there. Then you have this solder joint here. Uh, we're gonna get greedy and we're gonna cut that off too. It's easy enough to do, might as well. We're right here handling it. Right here, solder joint. Grab it, pinch it. Work it back and forth, it'll come right off. See, above the copper, above the solder joint. I'm getting kind of out of your guys' view here. Okay, now we're to this point. Well, before I do that. We can take this insulation junk off of this too. That way it just uses, it, uses itself to hold itself. Stuff here stuck on there pretty good. It's like hard plastic almost. That's good enough. So what we're going to do is finish taking that off. Bam, there you have it. Sealed unit. Uh, I'm not going to take this apart. It's not big enough, I don't think. Uh, unless you guys just want me to do it. I guess I could. Don't really want to. Uh, anyway. Right here above this solder joint. Number one coffer. Above the solder joint again. Number one. Follow this down. There's a solder joint right there. Break it off. I got one, two, three, four solder joints right there. Number two. So out of all that copper on that on that AC right there, as far as copper lines, that's all the number two we got. Then we upgraded all of this to number one. So that's that's pretty good. Probably a pound or pound or two there. Alright, so we're done with the sealed unit. I'm not gonna mess with that. Get that out of the way. It has its own category. So now we're down to the ACR. It's a dirty ACR until we get these, get the ends off. 
and uh, get this plate off, the steel plate off. I've never cut one of these, so we're fixing to, fixing to find out how we're going to do her. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm going to use my vise. I'm going to move you guys again. I'm probably going to pause the video so I can get you set up a little better. All right, so now we're going to cut these uh, ends off. Again, we're going to grab the saws off. Hopefully that's uh, stable enough. If not, we may have to do something different. I actually want to slide that down a little bit. See how this goes. Uh, it's like a dollar thirty-seven a pound right now, or eighty-seven. I can't remember. So we'll put this off to the side, and we got one more. So this one's got these fins that are kind of bent around like that. I'm gonna take these pliers and just bend them forward. That way I don't cut any more of that off than I have to. Fell out. 
Well, you ain't got to find them. Just like the other side, I'm gonna fold this tab. Two clean copper ACRs now, or well, aluminum copper ACRs. So the only thing that leaves us with is uh, cleaning the, getting the ends out of it, which is fairly easy to do. Set this here in the vise for the most part, just for a third hand, or I can just hold it. I guess. Hey, I'm gonna put it in the vise, make it a little easier. Try to get that one out of there. Now I put it in the vise uh, up and down. There we go. All right. We put this in the vise, and then I'm gonna move it again, and then you can kind of see what we're doing. Here. All right. Let's try a little bigger, taller vise to make my life a little bit easier with this stuff. But we're getting by. All right, guys, now we're going to pop these out. I just got a little crow's foot here, or whatever you want to call it, and it should just pop them right out. Might be a little big. Excuse the other end. I'm gonna drop them on the floor. Now these have their own category at most scrap yards. Um, depending on which one I I'm gonna take this to, uh, it'll either be uh, ACR ends or number two copper. Uh, so I don't know. Sometimes you gotta work them out a little bit and then they fly. All right, so that's done. I go in the shred pile. This one here, they almost all fell out. So just grab them and do it real easy by hand. with it, some of them, I guess. All 
everyone that's in the other way. That's different. Apparently I have a loop there. Some of them are a little pain, a little bit of a pain in the butt. But you get them, they'll just pop right out here. Get them right. Okay. Them doesn't come out, but it's going to. We left a little in there. Just the way it is. I'm not gonna cry over a little spill though. So this is that sm the smaller one. Get it clamped in there. Probably gonna use a screwdriver for this one. I got a little mini pry bar here. Little cute little guy. Sorry about the dog noise, guys. My uh, Great Pyrenees is, she hears me out here. She wants to be with me, is what it is. I'm about to pick all these up off the floor that I'm losing. You would have thought this being smaller, or this side being smaller, they'd come out easier, but that's not the case. I've seen some guys, they'll cut down the front and then pull this off the side, but I don't know. I don't know which way is the best way to do it. Like I said, I, this is my first one of these, honestly. Almost need even a little smaller pry bar than that. Switch over to a screwdriver maybe. That's it. All right, guys, there's what we got. We got some ACR ends, some number number one copper tubing. Ooh, another ACR in there, about to go away. And uh, number two tubing. Over there's my, our two clean ACRs. And then the rest of that's uh, shred and a uh, Three strands of copper there in the power cord. Oh, and the uh, the sealed unit. Almost forgot about that. So, all right, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit me the, give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Really helps the algorithm push this uh, video out. Lets more people see it. 
Uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a comment. If you didn't enjoy the video, still leave a comment. I love all the comments. I got thick skin if they're bad. Still helps push the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.